in the first episode, Mars Guy is pointing out flat-topped hills that are part of the ancient delta in Jezero Crater. But there's another feature nearby that is thought to also be part of the delta. A small mesa that's been named Kodiak can be seen in the images taken from orbiting spacecraft. It looks like a remnant of a larger delta deposit left behind after millions or billions of years of erosion. The delta formed more than 3 billion years ago when there was a lake in Jezero Crater. And if there was microbial life on Mars at that time, it could be trapped and preserved in the sedimentary rocks of the delta, including Kodiak. On Earth, deltas can form where a river enters a body of water, like a lake or ocean. Sediments carried by river water build up layers on the bottom, which conveniently are called bottom set beds. Over time, more sediments begin to collect at the mouth of the river, first building up flat layers known as top set beds. When sediments start to slip down the front of the accumulating pile, they create sloping beds known as foreset beds. This process continues over time as long as the river keeps flowing. On Mars, the Kodiak Mesa looks like it was part of a once larger delta, but without better observations, this couldn't be proven. Now, with Perseverance Park nearby, better observations are possible, but Kodiak is still pretty far away, more than two kilometers. That's where the Z in Mass Cam Z really helps. It's a camera with seven levels of zoom. Images of the color calibration target on the rover show the range of zoom from 26 millimeter focal length to 110 millimeters. It's that 110 millimeter focal length zoom setting that gave us this spectacular image of Kodiak. To help orient you, I've blurred out the foreground to separate it from the mesa. The background is the distant wall of Jezero Crater, not the sky. And for scale, I can drop in a model of Perseverance, which shows just how big this mesa really is. What really pops out in this view are the layers of rock, some that are clearly sloped. They look a bit like stripes on an animal. And thanks to another camera on Perseverance, we can get even closer. Supercam is also mounted on the mast and includes a Schmidt Cassegrain telescope with a 110 millimeter mirror, about four inches, and a focal length of 563 millimeters. It takes pictures that look like you're looking through a telescope because that's what it is. Take a bunch of overlapping pictures and you can put them together to make a mosaic. The detail from these images is spectacular. I can beam in Mars Guy to give you a sense of scale. The layers are much thicker than I originally thought. As the scene scrolls by, pay attention to the sloping layers. These are the four set beds that are clear evidence of a prograding delta one that built out from right to left in this view. There can be no doubt now that Kodiak Mesa was part of a larger delta deposit. And now that we know that Kodiak is an erosional remnant of a larger delta, other examples identified from orbit are even more likely to be similar leftover delta remnants. This means that the delta was much larger than what is observed today. And it also means that the rocks that Perseverance is parked on today could be part of that larger delta deposit. In the coming weeks, this possibility, this hypothesis, will be tested with the rover's full suite of instruments. This might even include the first use of the coring drill to collect a sample that could ultimately be brought back to Earth.